It is a fucking abomination, abomination. of a film. Yes, it is. It, needs to it is extremely out. way too fucking long and like an hour and 20 minutes fucking long. It's just a fucking day. Uh, it pulls your soul out slower than goddamn cowboy country. It does. I mean, for real. Like, I'd rather listen to... Burr. <laughs> a thousand times over I mean, than I, this. And, yeah, I, fuck... And I mean, at first, this is another one of those movies where it kind of, like Cowboy Country, kind of, you know, tricks you at first. Yeah. Because it starts off like this, right? You're seeing all this crazy gore and all the... Basically, everything you're seeing here is all the good parts of the movie. Yes. In the beginning of the movie. They showed you all the good parts, then they started the movie. Well, because, you know, I'm watching this and I'm like, is this a fucking trailer for yeah. another fucking yeah. movie? Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's this movie. Because it's still showing us all the fucking good parts. So all the parts that we are actually going to, like, show some interest in, like, way at the end of this review. Yeah. All right here. Right here. Yeah. So we have to talk about the rest of this. We, we said through it all. <laughs> yeah. All of it. Painful. Painful. So anyway, yeah. So this was all a dream, and dude wakes up multiple fucking times. Yeah, he's like, ah, 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 ah. I don't care what kind of nightmare you had, you know? And then as the opening credits start, we get a voiceover of him talking to a doctor here. Doctor, I can't stand it. I'm having the nightmares again. You've got to do something. And he was talking about how he needs to get the abomination food, right? The so doctor is like straight out of the bloodbath, you know what I mean? Like he's just like I've got to take your post now. <laughs> you know, creepy. So, like I was saying, he needs to get the abomination food, so he sees this girl in the cemetery, right? Wait, was that where the doctor and him were in the bedroom? No, not yet. No, not yet. No, this is a, still the very, very, uh, very beginning, I right? I forgot this movie's a billion hours ago. <laughs> so, yeah, the girl's there, and he sees her, so he's all, like, creeping on her all slowly, blah, blah, blah. It leads to a fucking chase, right? So they're running down this fucking dirty yeah. Texas She's road. She's trying to put flowers of green. Fucking, yeah, you know, thing, and then some asshole chases her out there, you know. And then she goes and hides next to this tree. <laughs> yeah, sits in front of this tree. I, was, I like how she fucking took off like Forrest Gump, and dude, he was right on top of her. All of a sudden, she was a like, girl. Yeah, you know. And as she's sitting in front of this tree, Cody, that's the fucking dude's name, yeah. slits her fucking throat with one hose sticking out. And no matter how crappy that practical fucking effect is, it's still, still better than yeah. CG. Way fucking better. A right, dude. Dude, I swear to it, you know. They need to they need to do blood squibs and shit. I don't give a crap that the actors are like, big old puss bag. Like, so no, he puts her in the fucking truck and then goes to the car wash. Yeah. And sprays off in his fucking car, car forever. Oh, you can oh, 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 oh. inside the car wash. Skulls and bones everywhere. And now Cody says how it all started was his mom was sitting there watching TV evangelist Brother Fog. Brother Fog. When my mom began watching this phony evangelist on TV, his name was Brother Fog. And mom thought everything he said was pure gospel. You know, I mean, we were talking about how he was, <laughs> he had his truck at the car wash washing tons of blood out. And we were like, well, it is Texas. I guess there's guys at car wash that were <laughs> washing tons of blood out. Yeah, Nobody right. questions it. They're probably killing some deer and stuff, whatever. So back to this, Cody bitches at his mom for watching Brother Fog. Here's some of this. Mom, when are you going to stop watching that stuff? It's not good for you. I was chosen for this purpose. Mom, damn it. Will you listen to me? A little religion would do you some good, young man. I'm sick and tired of hearing all these lies night after night. This guy's a phony. Mom, you know I got nothing against religion. But all that guy wants is your money. He's gonna beat you over the head and a 
doesn't care about you. And drive you so All he cares down. about is himself. I love Brother Fog, you know, he's got that Hitler haircut, you know, Hitler. <laughs> he's got the military buzz cut yeah. thing, you know. Uh, but I love how he's like, he's all serious about the Lord and doing the commandments and stuff. But then like when he comes on, he sounds like Bozo the Clown. He's like, hi everybody! <laughs> hi! I'm Brother Fog! Yeah. I love that. So, Mom tells Cody that she knows she has lung cancer because Brother Fogg told her so. Here. Mom, there's nothing wrong with you. The doctor told you himself. Cody. There's a tumor in my lungs. Brother Fogg told me so. And he gave me God's promise that I'd be cured. Mom, you need to get outside more. You need to see people. I mean, my friends don't even come around to her anymore because you've gone over the edge on this Brother Fogg and his miracles. I love it. It was straight out of the room. She's like, I got the cancer. And he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Mom, that's fine. So, yeah. Blah, blah, fucky, blah, moving on. Mom puts her hands on the TV for healing because that's what Brother Fogg wants sick people to do. Here. Now, I want each of you to put your hand on the television set. I see people out there with cancer with spinal disorders, I would like for each of you to place your hand on the television because I'm going to heal you. Well, the TV has special power. Yeah. Well, it does because she just starts coughing. Yeah, that's what Awfully. Like, like, <laughs> awfully. Here. <laughs> This is back in the day when TVs gave off a lot of radiation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they could cure cancer. Yeah, they probably could. So anyway, as she's hacking up for fucking ever, she coughs up a tumor. Yeah, big old turd nugget. You know, yeah. She was like, bleh! And the thing was all pulsating and shit. She was just like, oh, God, you know. And I was like, ew, God, like you wouldn't call the hospital after that <laughs> shit? Like, I just, I just barfed up some pulsating yeah. jelly thing. So blah, blah, fucky, blah, she throws it in the trash. Cody comes home. I think he was out with his girlfriend, That's but I don't day. fucking care. He goes to bed, and as he's sleeping, the tumor crawls up his fucking bed yeah. and into his fucking mouth. Yeah, the whole time he's like, mm, tacos. Mm, 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 crunch rack. And swallows it whole. So blah, 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 moving the fuck on. Cody goes out with his friends, which basically means they drive their trucks recklessly across fucking crappy wooden bridges <laughs> and then down Texas roads while passing beers Single to way. each other. Single yeah, way. Yeah. 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 Side they can the tell us beers they can because as we mentioned, we were like, I was like, why is the beer so goddamn big? And yeah. like, you know what? Well, it's Texas. Everything's huge. Yeah, because, you, know? you know, the stars at night are big and bright. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. That they are, son. So, so yes, okay, they're, yeah. they're they drive for fucking ever. Forever. For fucking ever. Yes. Still driving for fucking ever. And you know what? I'm later. gonna skip ahead a little bit. You know where they drive to? A field so they can sit under tailgates and drink a fucking beer. They could have done that anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> that's, Along what, the way. that's all of Texas looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just one big giant open field, you know what I mean, with fences and shit. A couple farms. I'm sure it's lovely. Never been. So yeah, the one couple fucking leaves, <laughs> and nothing happens in the well, scene. Nothing they, happens they, they, at all. Because well, Billy Bob Fuckface, whatever his name was, I don't give yeah, a shit. He said something he said that pissed something off. Offended, you know, well, me. here, he says this. Listen, what are you guys doing this Saturday? Nothing. Well, I thought we could all, uh, go over to my place and have some barbecue. <laughs> yeah, on one of your mom's sermons. <laughs> hey, I'm only kidding. Let's get going. Bye, y'all. Y'all be careful. Yeah, so, yeah, but still nothing in this scene happens. The one couple leaves, fucking Cody and his girl kind of... Eh, cuddle for a second, and then it cuts to Cody at fucking work, right? Where right. he's coughing up fucking blood. Right. And then Kmart TJ Miller fucking comes over, right? The and, worst wig ever. <laughs> and, you know, sends him home. My considerate boss told me to go home before I made him sick to his stomach. 
What's wrong with me? He was like, my boss told me how to go home because I was coughing up blood. I'm like, my boss wouldn't give a fuck. So Cody goes home and coughs up the fucking tumor. And then <laughs> hides it under his fucking bed. Well, yeah, because like there was like this hour-long thing where his mother was at the and door. And the friend that offended him, too. Right. We're at the door trying to get... Well, they say, all, they say some of this. Hey, dude, are you still alive in there? Cody, answer us. Well, I guess he doesn't want to see me. Because I guess he just don't want to see me. And, like, this whole entire movie is fucking dubbed. Yeah. Like, the sound effects in this movie oh. are fucking amazing. The footsteps. The fo every footsteps. Carpet, not carpet, just thump, 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 thump. Bang, bang, bang. Well, actually, yeah. here's some of those. Mom was gone. She'd left some flowers and a note for me on the kitchen table. Like, the whole way through the like fucking movie. Mom weighs 62 yeah. pounds, but it sounds like she's like a polar bear running around. You know, and speaking of mom, she looks like Dio. I swear I was waiting for him oh, like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So anyway, blah, blah, fucking blah. Cody goes to his friend's girlfriend's house, which kind of reminds me of the girl that Buffalo Bill had down in the pit. You know, he puts the... Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, he goes to her house, goes inside, and slits her fucking throat. Yeah. <laughs> She was like, oh, you're here to see Thelen I was just sitting I'll call on the couch him, yeah. eating chocolate. And then he stares at her fucking <laughs> slit throat for fucking for ever. Because Cody has some weird fucking faces, man. He's like, like you know, like, what the hell's happening to him? But anyway, he takes her home, pushes her under the fucking bed, and feeds the abomination. Yep, basically. He put her down there, sprinkled some fucking rotisserie seasoning over her, and it was like, have at it! So he goes into the bathroom and coughs up another abomination and puts it in the fucking medicine cabinet. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. Yeah, and he then, put them everywhere around the house, apparently. Oh yeah, and the abomination spits out the skeleton, well, lightly pushes the skeleton out from under the bed. Like the next morning, wasn't it? Because, like, because Cody went and he had himself some sugar snaps or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, yeah, yeah it when doesn't he got really, up, he I'm, goes in, I'm skipping stuff, dude. That's fine, but he just, <laughs> like, dumps a whole bowl of cereal on his toes, which was, uh, to me, was the grossest thing in the scene. And then this thing burps up a woman, you know? Everything I had done came flooding back into my brain. I thought my head would explode. So anyway, blah, blah, fuggy, blah. Mom goes to see Brother Fog, right? And when she first goes into his office, what does he do for the fucking ever? Poops. He takes a massive shit. For fucking ever. Here. For a straight minute, dude, he was in there shitting himself. And everybody in the whole place could hear it, too. He was like, Lord Jesus. So, blah, blah, fucking blah, Cody takes the skeleton out to bury it in a field when his friend comes up. So, the friend goes to look down, whoa, what you doing? Cody, <laughs> blonk, with a fucking shovel. Dude falls over and then the one tube of blood splurt, 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 splurt. I'm sure if he hit you on the head like that, he'd be like... <laughs> 
So anyway, once again, skipping over a whole bunch of fucking pointless just talking and voiceover and blah blah fucking blah. Right. Mom doing laundry, just doing stuff around the house, and yeah. she throws some laundry into the washer. The music's pleasant at this point. Fuck, clothes comes back out, so eventually she makes her way back over there right. and finds this. Ah! Ah! In the fucking washer. For like a straight minute. Like, I didn't even know he put one in the washer. But well, right. and now there's one in the fucking cupboard. A big fucking one. Uh, yeah, and, and she's like, Meh! And this is where Mum goes on her screaming screen. It does not stop for a straight two well, hours. Well, you know? Co <laughs> Cody comes in and is talking to his mom about her birthing this. Yeah. Here. He was like, you're well, the fucking whore, Mom. Yeah, basically, <laughs> here. Fog impregnated you with this thing, mother. What made you think he could help you get rid of it? What are you talking about? Ah! 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 Brother Fog planted the seed of this thing in you. You carried it. Gave it life. You are the whore of Babylon, mother. You're the mother of this abomination! Ah! Come out of him, devil! Come out of him! You're the devil whore! And she kept coming, I love it, she kept coming at him. She's like, yeah! She's like, oh god, give me the sex! Yeah! Like, that's not gonna do anything. But she, she ends up falling into the corner by the cabinets and screaming, Still screaming. Forever. forever. For fucking ever and ever and ever and ever. And, ever. and, ever. and while she's watching tentacles fucking kind of wreck the place, like little tentacle comes out of the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And that's, then the fucking stove is on the sofa. I think she was expecting that one because it was like, because she was actually pretty quiet for a second. Yeah. I was like, ah! <laughs> And she did that for like fucking forever. Forever. For a while. To the point where we're just like, you know what, fucking something eat mom. Right. Well, actually, she sets her hand down and a tentacle with a mouth comes out <laughs> and just eats her hand off and she don't even fucking notice it. Yeah, right. So she you know, pulls, pulls it up. Like, yeah, meanwhile, her arm is like this long. And all of a sudden, now it's like this long, you know, yeah. she's like, hey! <laughs> And it's fucking, her wrists are thick as shit. She had Andre the Giant's wrist. <laughs> yeah, for real. But, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And of course, more screaming forever. Yeah. And a tentacle grabs her and pulls her into the closet, Audrey. Meanwhile, too. the whole time Cody's doing this face. And little blood trickled down his <laughs> I love how he blurped it up a little bit. He's like, oh. So, blah, blah, fucking blah. Cody has a gift. <laughs> for Brother Fog, right? Which is basically skipping over a whole bunch of just bullshit. It's a fucking abomination. Right. He puts it in Brother Fog's fucking toilet and then puts oh, a cat, cat, a real a fucking cat, cat yeah, in the toilet, like, hey, forces it into the fucking that toilet. That pissed me off because I like cats. I was like, you fucking I can give dicks. a fuck less because cats are dicks. Well, fuck you, but I like cats. So I mean, I, I would never I hurt a cat, an animal. but I, I didn't mind seeing it, whatever. And like, you know, Hollywood's been torturing animals for years. So yeah, I'm like, he forced his cat down in a reverence bowl. God knows he probably didn't yeah. flush or whatever, you know? So we cut to Brother Fog sitting on the fucking toilet. Gonna have his morning shite. And his scream is great, so here. <laughs> so his secretary comes busting up to the door. Yeah. And sees this. Yeah, it's fucking work, amazing. Work, work, work. Ah! Yeah, and she paper. has an amazing scream as well, here. <laughs> Everybody has an amazing... An amazingly scream. bad scream, yeah. yes. Yay! So blah blah fucking blah, Cody goes to work and offers Kmart T.J. Miller a drink, so T.J. Miller sticks his hand in the cooler, and guess what? <laughs> But like, okay, so like, do you think the Reverend actually got a couple plops off before he actually got eaten by the thing? I think they made a. I think there was a sound effect there. This thing was big enough, right, to swallow him whole. So how did it hide inside the bowl? <laughs> yeah, that thing's only like this big. Uh, yeah, I. 
I so it just was like whoop, up around him, was like I bless so. and yeah, I know, fuck. <laughs> so anyway, right? TJ Miller's laying across this frame, right? And he's just laying there. So Cody grabs a fucking chainsaw and saws off the top of his head. Now, who else thinks Cody at some points looked like the fucker, the lead guy from a uh, uh, Time Chaser with the dinner less roll of a, on his less chin? Less of a butt chin. Le less of a butt chin, but he does. You know, he reminds me of him. So blah blah fucking blah, we get to see him killing the cemetery girl all fucking over again, know, like the like, whole oh, fucking scene. They're starting to repeat shit, they're desperate. <laughs> well, they already did because we saw all of the cool stuff in the beginning. I know, we didn't even have to watch his shit. And guess what, we get to see him go to the car wash again. Back to the car wash. So blah blah fucking blah. So he's in his kitchen, which is a fucking horror show now. I mean, you know, you got all the abominations, skulls and skeletons, big, big tub of cow guts, guts which I assume were supposed to be human guts, but those are real fucking cow they guts. They were. That was so gross when he moved it around a little bit. It was like, blah, blah. I was like, ah! And all he's always doing is just feeding the abominations. I guess I should say the one abomination, the one in the closet, because the yes. one in the fucking washing machine didn't get fucking shit. It gets shit. ignored. Yeah, I was I was kind of upset by that too. I was like, hey, come on now. He's been sitting there going meh 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 <laughs> for like a fucking hour now. And you haven't given him dick. So blah blah fucking blah. The girlfriend shows up, goes in, and finds all yeah. said fucking gore. Yeah. And yeah. She screams, she obviously. Back, though, you know? Well, yeah, because Cody kind of comes out, ah, and they yeah. kind of tussle for a while. And then she fucking grabs a pitchfork and stabs and the blah. cameraman. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah, fuck! And she's like, oh shit, sorry! Yeah. But it's actually, she actually stabs Cody, yes. which is against the wall. And guess what? They both scream for fucking ever. Ever. Ah, my stomach! And blood spraying on her, and then a fucking abomination's coming out of his fucking stomach, because, ah, my stomach! Uh. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, hey, <coughs> can me? I was like, oh, fucking die already. I so, well, she with her long deaths. She's still screaming, and the, a tentacle grabs her by the legs. Somebody's dumping tons of blood on this Pulls person. her for fucking ever. Ever. She grabbed onto the cheap fucking chair that rolled, rolled over. Yeah. Rolled right yeah. over, you know. And then she gets eaten. Yeah. You don't get to see that. You just see the hand go. And and, the, and the, I think there was a head. But anyway, oh, yeah. So the next morning, the doctor comes over to fucking check, goes inside, he screams. Ah! And then you see him come up. Yeah, so he's like... With the, with the shades. Yeah, so he's so like infected He had enough now. time to root around for fucking what's-his-name shades. Well, the, well, I guess he was... The yeah, abomination. he was still pinned against the wall. Yeah. Oh, right? uh, yeah. So, yeah. And credits while fucking Cody's still fucking voice overing. Talking to the doctor. Cody, it's not just a meaningless dream. The reason you're here is that you are suspected of murdering seven people. This dream is a way for your unconscious mind to explain the deaths and to externalize your feelings of guilt. You see, in the dream, you die and are punished for your sins. Even I play a part in the dream. Don't you see a lot of me in your Dr. Russell? No! Cody, seven people are dead. Did you kill them? No! It wasn't me! It was the abomination! <laughs> So, yeah. Eh. Like, eh. 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 
<sighs> diagnosis. This movie sucked. For for like seven minutes of this movie was pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. The rest of it was just go uh, uh, lots of loud clomping sound effects and fucking just talking. Mom screaming forever. And those things doing this. <laughs> Yeah. And the music, oh, I love the music sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it's not like there was some Sanford and Son music in there. You know, even when the drugs were just around. What was with the fucking horse? It oh, yeah. Randomly was, shooting yeah, a horse. Yeah, this horse time. randomly would pop up a million we times. We would have told you movie. about that, but we were like, you know, whatever. But I mean, well, as yeah. we're watching it, I'm just, every time it pop up, I just like horse. horse. Yeah, <laughs> there's a horse. Yeah. You have anything else to say? Fuck no. All right, then. This has been one of the worst movies on YouTube. We'll see you next week. I'm going to go barf up a big old jelly nugget, and I'm going to place it in your fucking washing machine, so next time you go do your undies, you'll be like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> you know, you'll be, all you have to do is back away from it. You don't even have to fuck it. You just back I away. Know. You're like, go oh, ahead, do something. Let's go slow like, tactical, oh, man. man. Oh, you're like, oh, I'm pouring gasoline down and you're going to die, big monster, <laughs> badass. You know? And you're like, meh, meh, meh. And you just go, whoosh, meh, meh, meh. And you're like, eh, <laughs> it's going End of the story, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, Kmart Casey knows that, nah, nah, nah. Would have been easy to take out, <laughs> dude. Well, obviously, he was pretty easy in the pounds. fucking chick was like, eh. I know. <laughs> well, I feel bad for the cameraman who's about <laughs> stuck somewhere. Yeah. In Texas. Your dinner's on the stove. That's They're that's okay, Mom. Out. I'm going out with Kelly tonight. We're going to go see a movie. Your bodies, Can't you stay home with me tonight? Food. I'm feeling extra poorly. To that immoral Mom, I wish I could. Uh, but Kelly's expecting that me. Hard drive. I don't want to talk about it. Uh oh, you're gonna cough up one of them fucking I know. pulsating jellies. Hey everybody, Gutter Bird here and it's fuck! Yeah. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Everybody. Are you tired of saying that yet? I'm so hey tired of talking, everybody. dude. I just don't want to fucking talk like, at all anymore. Hi, five people that actually watch. How are you guys doing? Well, we're here again. With another shit-tastic, crap-tastic, <laughs> fuck-tastic movie. With Dio. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude who looks like that crazy nasty nit, or whatever the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, You know, one of those things wearing glasses and funny nose, you know. But then fucking Bill Murray and Bill Maher all mixed into one. You know? Yeah. With his crazy... Fucking screaming forever, mother! Just all right, all right, all fucking right. Fucking, all right, tumor. All right, let's just fucking start this.